Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, where we're very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Saif bin Khaleta, who is the Executive Director of Technology Development Affairs for the United Arab Emirates Telecommunications and Digital Government Regulatory Authority, or TDRA. Mr. Bin Khaleta, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you, Mr. Maximilian. It's always a pleasure being with you. We've invited you here, of course, because you have been chair of the ITU Council 2022. And uh, I wanted to ask you a little bit about your experiences of that. But first of all, perhaps you could tell us what are the key outcomes of ITU Council 2022? Thank you, Maximilian. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank the ITU for bringing us back to Geneva. Geneva is the home for the, uh, for the council. Uh, Geneva is a second home for many of us, and it's always good to be back home. Uh, we have missed that for a couple of years, but now we are back here. That spirit itself uh, guided us and helped us a lot to sail through the agenda that was in front of us. And what about the, the outcomes? What are some of the key outcomes of uh, ITU Council 2022? Let me give you some statistics about the participants. I mean, um, it, was, um, uh, it was amazing. I mean, we have more than 650 participants, out of which 515 are present in Popov Room with 139 uh, participating remotely. Uh, we have 47 member states attending the council se this council session, which is impressive. Uh, we have the state of Palestine, some other uh, uh, regional uh, organizations and specialized organizations part of this meeting. Uh, in terms of the gender uh, representation, we have 36% um, women participating physically in the meeting and 47 uh, remotely. That's marvelous, I mean, for, for this meeting after the pandemic. I mean, coming back to the question, uh, to the question regarding the outcomes, I mean, for this session of the Council of 2022, I'm being the one just before the planning potentially of 2022, uh, we had many um, uh, issues in put in front of us as the, uh, as the agenda. We have the usual uh, agenda of the Council, in addition to matters related to uh, PP, uh, put in front of us. Uh, we have uh, issues related to uh, strategy and planning, to the policy. Uh, we have many reports in front of us for consideration. We have the management and uh, um, operational matters. Um, we have um, the operational uh, plan, um, the proposed operational plan for 2024 to 2027 20, uh, that was uh, considered. Uh, we have the council working groups uh, achievement reports and also the four year reports uh, of their achievement, many of which were uh, endorsed and uh, many of these uh, council working groups were recommended for continuation for a second period um, and that will be at the PP level and uh, some others were thanked for their contribution and their work and uh, the decision uh, for the way forward will be left to the, um, uh, uh, to the PP. Are you pleased with the outcomes, with anyone in particular, perhaps? Um, I don't want to be um, siding in favor of one in particular. There are many, actually. Um, uh, my role was to facilitate the discussion. The member states, the contributions, and the discussion drove the, um, the outcomes that we, uh, we came to. We have many, as I said, uh, we have the GIU recommendations and how the ITU will uh, adopt these recommendations uh, for implementation. Uh, we have the guidelines for GCA. So we've discussed the um, uh, financial operational plan for 2024-2027 that was proposed for consideration. We have also um, the council working group uh, progress reports and the four-year reports and the um, uh, endorsements for many of these council working groups to continue uh, for further um, uh, period. In addition to thanking all the um, and uploading the, the work of uh, some other uh, groups uh, for which the decision will be left uh, to the PP for the way forward. We have the auditors, uh, uh, auditors reports and the audit reports that were discussed in, um, um, uh, during the, um, uh, the session. Um, we have also enhancements to the ITU processes and procedures that will help actually the ITU cope with the changes and the demands and hope um, and keep the ITU um, uh, as a leader in its space. Uh, many changes to the um, uh, regulations, I mean, many uh, regulations and uh, resolutions were adopted. The, uh, the financial operational plan of uh, 2020 was approved. The um, accessibility framework was um, uh, endorsed. The um, uh, staff regulation matters were discussed, to name a few. So these are 
few of the items that we discussed and uh, uh, approved, and um, it was a good uh, achievement. That's excellent. Thank you so much for, for sharing that, that with us. Uh, Council 2022 you talk about resolutions, adopted a resolution uh, deploring the widespread destruction of critical infrastructure and failure of telecom services that have uh, occurred across the Ukraine. Uh, I wanted to ask you, could you tell us about the mandate that the resolution gives to ITU? Uh, thank you. I mean, uh, I mean, taking into consideration the principles that we that the IT works on. I mean, the principles of cooperation, uh, collaboration, humanity, independence of all. Uh, there was a contribution that uh, garnered uh, overwhelming support, and that uh, that the support is assistance to to Ukraine in um, uh, in rebuilding its uh, telecommunications uh, services. Uh, that resolution was uh, was adopted, and it uh, mandates uh, on the ITU to help the, uh, uh, Ukraine in rebuilding um, the uh, critical infrastructure of telecommunications uh, to help them communicate well and uh, have uh, a reliable communication network. We're coming to the end of uh, ITU Council 2022, do you think that the union is well prepared now for the plenipotentiary conference? Um, I believe so. I mean, I've seen uh, a regional coordination uh, meeting happening here uh, during one of the lunch breaks uh, in which all the regional uh, groups participated. So they were sharing uh, their, uh, their work, their progress, and it seems that all the regions are well prepared. Also, the chair designated for um, uh, PP22 is present in our meetings. Uh, he's, uh, he's ready, he's confident, he's enthusiastic, and I think uh, we'll have uh, a very fruitful, successful discussion during PP, I mean, with his uh, leadership. So I believe, yes, uh, the ITU, with the uh, increased level of regional participation and the coordination meetings that are happening uh, prior to the uh, PP, will help in... Uh, in making a, a successful um, event. From the conversations that have uh, been had here, what do you think that will be the next, uh, what, do you th what do you think will be the, the major opportunities and, and, and challenges for the union in the next few years? The challenges will keep coming. I mean, we can't predict, I mean, what happened in the couple of years back. I mean, that was unpredictable, but it's always uh, good of, um, the, the challenge would be how to convert the challenge into an opportunity and then work on it. So that will continue uh, to happen. And in the telecommunications sector, the ITU is responsible about uh, a, a very important uh, aspect of our daily life now. And they, with the ever uh, increasing changes and challenges in that, um, the member states will always look at the union to help them um, sail through these uh, challenges and, uh, and uh, get them, I mean, um, so that no one is, is left behind. The race is on, everybody's building their uh, networks and their services, and uh, the union's work and the union's principles of not leaving anyone behind will, will help actually everybody uh, to be uh, in par and with equal footing for, for everybody to utilize these uh, networks for the benefit of humanity. Now, I'm sure that everyone who's been in attendance will agree that you've done an excellent job as, uh, as chair. You've uh, tackled some difficult subjects and, uh, and difficult conversations and you've um, managed to come through here to the end. I wanted to ask you, have you got any, any final words? The achievements cannot be without the, the work of the IT, uh, ITU, ITU Secretariat and the work of the member states themselves and the contributions. As I told you earlier, I mean, the, the spirit that they are back again seeing each other, that, that, that atmosphere itself helped us a lot. I mean, it was much difficult during the uh, virtual consultations of councillors. Now it's much easier when we see each other, converse with each other, have coffee breaks, lunch breaks, and talk to each other. Um, uh, with that, I mean, I would like to, to th thank everybody, actually, who was involved in this, uh, in this process. And uh, I hope that we, could, uh, we can continue this in the future so that we can uh, build on the principles that were um, uh, attained, that everybody's here to, to collaborate to, for, the, for the benefit of, uh, of everybody. Some fine words indeed. Thank you very much for sharing your insights with us. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you again uh, in the very near future. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks very much. Thank you.